Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm just finishing up uh, the first test on that Voltgo 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And this test came uh, out of the recommendation of Rick, who was wondering how this would work leaving it on, uh, specifically like for a remote location, what kind of parasitic draw does it have with the Bluetooth app, and just leaving that battery on. And uh, this morning goes wraps up about four and a half days of just doing that. So enjoy this short little video on that. It's pretty interesting results. All right, good evening, guys. As you can hear, I've got the cokey frogs in the background. It's been raining a little bit and they love the rain. So anyway, we're looking at the Volt Go 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate that I introduced to you guys a little a few days ago. And I just turned the power switch on. Haven't done anything with it since the initial video that I showed you guys. But one of you wanted to know uh, what kind of a load would this thing draw just left in the on position. So I turned it on. It was fully charged, of course. And uh, let's see what it is. 100% full. 13.63 volts. That is a full battery. 75 degrees. And let's go to the details of the cells. And there you can see the cells. 3.4 straight across. And we're just going to let this stay on and see. So for those of you that might be running this battery in a remote location uh, and you just want to have it on all of the time and then uh, turn on your inverter or whatever you might want to do from a remote location, uh, we're going to see just leaving this on what it'll do. No loads are going to be drawn. Just keeping it in the standby position, which as you can see, that's what it is in the standby position, no loads. So we'll check back, let this run for a few days at least. Okay, 24 hours later, still on, of course. 99% full. 13.45 volts. And let's see what the cells look like. 3.36 straight across. Okay, 72 hours later, you can see the green lights are still on. This has been on the whole time, of course. 99%. 96 hours later, or four full days, and 99% full, the voltage now, 13.31, let's look at the cells, and 3.33 three straight across and uh, three three two nine on the last cell but all extremely close so it's just not going down much at all so that's uh, good to consider okay it's the next morning about 12 hours later than uh, the last shot from last night so we've got uh, what, 108 hours on this being on all the time. It's just not drawing down very much, which is great. 99% full still. Battery voltage 13.31. 
and let's look at the cells. 3.33, basically straight across. Little teeny uh, fluctuation at the other last two cells, but we can call that pretty much 3.33 straight across. Looks really good. So, like I mentioned earlier before, this uh, Bluetooth app that shows the uh, state of charge on the battery, I believe it's to be fairly accurate. It might not be truly a 99% charge, as we see, 13.31, but that would still be within the 90th percentile, uh, give or take, what a, exactly what it is. Uh, it's pretty close. I mean, it might be 90 three percent full or something but anyway looking at these indicators here you know it just goes a hundred percent full 75 percent 50 25 so you know it's not uh, dead accurate but it gives you a very good indication of what your state of charge is so it's still registering a hundred percent full on the app 99 percent full and then 13.31 definitely in the 90th uh, percentile. So, yeah, it's not drawing that much power in the on position four and a half days later. So that's, that's going to conclude this test. And I appreciate you guys uh, giving me recommendations of what to do uh, with some further testing. And I told you we are going to open this up and that's coming up. But I wanted to finish this test up four and a half days later. Looking great. Uh, you could feel comfortable about just leaving this on all the time. Um, it's just not it's just not drawing that battery down doing that. And when I tie this up into a system, which we will do in a future video, I plan on just leaving it on because it will be tied into solar. So it's just not going to be an issue. All right, pretty fun little test. And we're going to stay on top of this battery because there's a lot of interest uh, in this battery from you guys. So uh, we're just beginning. And I will show you over time many, many more things about this because already just love it. So thanks to Rick for the uh, suggestion for a, a video. And keep those suggestions coming in, guys, because I take a lot of my cues from you guys about what you're interested in seeing. A lot of them I would never think of until you mention them. So, yeah, keep those suggestions rolling in, and I will try to accommodate and answer those questions the best that I am able to do. So, yeah, I'm going to open that baby up. We're going to take a peek at it. That's coming up. So, aloha. Y'all be good out there.